we're trying to beat a supercar with a £15,000 budget. We spent just under £4,000 on a Subaru WRX estate. Long story. This was owned by a Nigel. A Nigel. And we're upgrading it to be a supercar driven by Scott, a racing driver. In the last episode, we were shocked at how bad the 19-year-old suspension was. Oh, why is it making that noise? Look at this. As far as I know, wheels aren't meant to do that. So we're going to decide on some coilovers, fit them, and then test them at the track to see how much lap time they gain us. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Look at these. Wow. <gasps> some stickers. Wow, a piece of cardboard. As a reminder, we're trying to go as fast as possible on a tight budget. Scott went 10 and a half seconds faster than us in his Lambo, and we need to find that with only 10,226 pounds left. We have no chance. No chance. No chance. <laughs> but first, here's our predicament. There are tons of different coilover options. Our bargain basement option would cost just £300. They'll definitely be stiffer and they're also height adjustable, but they can be unreliable and they're usually made out of cheap materials. £200 coilovers sound like a bad idea. Yeah. They could be a great value choice but we need something a bit more reliable. The splash the cash option would take a huge chunk out of our budget at £3,600. These are also height adjustable, but you can also adjust both the compression and rebound of the damper. These would be lighter as they're made of forged aluminium and they'll probably last a lot longer than the cheap ones. What we've gone for is our middle of the road option. These BC coilovers have pillow ball top mounts and height adjustment just like the other two, but unlike the cheap ones, they also have adjustable dampers. Granted, they can't be fine-tuned like the expensive ones can, but we're saving £2,600 by going for these. I think we should go all the way to hard. All the way? All the way. I want to be as hard as is physically possible. <laughs> it is very high at the moment. It is very high. I don't want to even fit a, a finger in there. Oh God, <laughs> why have I said that? So local Richard, Will and I needed to get the car up on the lift to begin wrestling the 19-year-old struts off the car. Looking a bit crusty in there. It was all going well until I got absolutely humiliated by Richard's superhuman strength. Hold on, Richard, I am not a strong man. How? Richard, you must have infinite strength. It's like I've never touched at all before. I need one of these at home. Uh, what else have we got in there? I am Ch Chief Squirter. That's not going on the CV. <laughs> There she blows. Well. Oh, look at that for a before and after. After some battling, we did get the old struts off. Oh, there she comes. It did take two hours. We don't need rears, do we? Do all of them apart from that one. Yeah, <laughs> it's just going down the road like yeah. <laughs> An impact gun, a bigger impact gun, and some fire, but we did it. Big boy. Like most coilovers, these are height adjustable, but it did take some spanner work, which Will didn't enjoy doing. Why is that spinning? Well, that's not for that, is it? Well, this is boring. I thought coilover is meant to be fun, exciting. If this spins again, it's gonna go across the car park. Jeez, performance is not easy. Once Will had adjusted them and moaned for an hour, you bugger. it was time to get them on. Something great about putting such shiny parts on such crusty suspension. <laughs> yeah. We were in the middle of fitting our shiny new coilovers to the Scooby when the competition rocked up. How much were these? £999. Really? For four? All for four, yeah. Not, and they're good. Yeah. They're adjustable that's and stuff. That's a lot of metal for that much money. Yeah, that's Will a rear. slam it down? We're going to slam it and scrape everywhere. How are you setting it up? Just uh, with eye? With a tape measure. Measuring it isn't probably accurate enough. <laughs> isn't that how they do it in Formula One? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah so that's... <laughs> now, we know it's not just a case of bolting these in and shaving seconds off a lap they'll definitely need setting up properly. Even if you buy the most expensive coilovers, you still need a good setup to get the most out of them. So in a later episode, we're gonna go see Scott's dad, who restores race cars for a living, and then string up the car and put on a racy, track-focused setup. Full race setup. Race mode, camber. Maximum. Yeah. I care nothing for tire wear. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Christ, it's a strongman competition. That was traumatic. So that is the front complete. Once we got all four corners on, it was time to see what it looked like. <gasps> it's better. The back's better. The front, we probably should have left it. Shoe test. Should... No. 
No shoe. Perfect. No shoe. Yes, I like it. Look at how stiff it is. I'm seeing too much. There's too much air around that tire. Yeah. Back up. Wheels off. <laughs> I think we go at least 20 more. These things are a bitch. Oh! It's, it's, I, we could have done 25. But I think that's probably sufficient for now. Still they settle any... down a bit, don't they? It'll settle down. Coilovers are fitted. It's a lot lower yep. and a lot firmer. But on the track, it's going to be much better. Oh, much better. That evening, we took the car for a stock alignment before going to the track the next day. Now, before we get to that, a quick ad from our sponsor, Squarespace. Now, it's clear how talented we are at working on Japanese cars. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> this is a meadow! <laughs> and we're incredible at this. I'm going to give it a wiggle. I think we should tell Scott we're going to start a tuning company. Well, if we were, we'd know where to launch Squarespace. They would allow us to pick a domain and then get started with a really polished website within a couple of minutes. Their award-winning templates mean you can get launched within a couple of hours without needing to code anything. They have templates for scheduling. Oh, so people can book their cars in with us. An online store as well. Well, we'd only sell clutches and coilovers so far. As well as other stuff like member areas or email campaigns. So follow in our footsteps and get going with your own fully featured website. You know where to go. So head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash driven media for 10% off your first website or domain. So we've set up a couple of tests and we want to know exactly what the body roll is. The first test is a slalom, testing the weight transfer and low speed cornering grip. But first, in the interest of science, we ran the slalom on the stock suspension and you can see just how much the Subaru is rolling on that old and tired suspension. So now let's see what the Subaru is like on the new coilovers. What was that like? Yes. Um, I think like seven tenths of a second faster. Half a second. Half a that second tenths. faster, yeah. That's a good day. That's good. Well, on a 10 on ten seconds, that's yeah. a big percentage, right? But they do need like tuning a bit. We need a little bit more stiffness. Probably wants a bit more weight on the nose of the car. We can do the damper, should we do that now? Leave them one off the top. So go full stiff and then come back one. With the damper changes made, Scott sent it again. Eight. 8.7. <gasps> That's a gain. There's, that is gains. That may look unremarkable, but when you compare it to the stock suspension, you can see what a huge difference coilovers have made to how the car handles. Look at how much the body roll is reduced, and also look at how much more precise Scott could be. He was a lot closer to the camera in that second run. First gains. First gains. And really, like percentage-wise and money-wise, I think that's quite good. To yeah. brand, we've gained some time, some time. <laughs> so it felt like it had more grip and the platform was easier to manage so with the forward and back pitch change like this the car was just much more compliant so it's a bit easier to drive which then means you can be more accurate as well but a second difference on 10 seconds 10 percent now don't forget that we need this suspension dialed if we're going to corner more like a mercy lago than like a bus so we wanted to see how they did on the trickiest corner of the kerbera circuit to see how the body roll was improved but scott's racing driver instincts took over and he started tuning our car for us and you soften the front dampers by four clicks can't help myself <laughs> he's tuning our car for free <laughs> oh yeah what am i doing the weight distribution is wrong in it um, and i'm trying to soften off the front to kind of make up for that more weight is more load through the tires pushing them into the track which means more grip so if you're struggling with grip at the front you need more weight over the front of the car so why is scott actually adjusting well the inside of a damper looks just like this it's filled with an oil of very specific viscosity and when the suspension moves it moves this piston through that oil if the suspension is going up the oil builds up pressure in that top half of the cylinder and so it has to flow through this valve system before reaching the other side of the piston and that's what scott's adjusting here he's softening off the damper at the front of the car to allow it to be more compliant and increase grip on those front tires all to balance the car better so the valve is just letting more oil through and also on those stock struts that valve is likely the culprit that failed making our inside rear wheel do some very strange things now our car was tuned as well as it can be for now it was time to do a lap the stock time was 126.9 just over 10 seconds off the lambo so let's see what it gets now Death 
definitely turns better. It rotates so good now. Oh, look at that. Doesn't just wallow around. Oh, that was a long curve. It's pretty tidy. Difficult corner, that one. Carry the speed through this section. Use all the curb. Patience. Go. Gonna be quicker. It's gonna be a lot quicker. It's 120, 21, 22. One twenty-six, one. Okay. Eight That's all right. That's all right. The game's a game. Yeah. I did think it was going to be a little bit more. It felt like it was a couple of seconds. I was going to say two and a half. The roll and, and the cars being controlled much better with the suspension, but the tyres are just giving up. Step in the right direction. So allow me to get nerdy for a second. That is a race logic box. It logs the speed of the car throughout the lap. Here, the red line is the speed of the car before, and the green line is the speed of the car with the upgraded suspension. So higher on this curve is better. And as you can see, the car is measurably faster. The suspension allows Scott to carry more corner speed and more momentum onto the straight. To be fair, I don't think that the suspension is finished here. I think what you need to do, and again, I'm giving you advice that I shouldn't be, is like, get it on a flat patch, get the weight distribution correct, corner weight it. When you're racing a car, there can be a second, 1.2, 1.5 seconds a lap between when the setup's bad and when it's good. So we definitely gained some lap time and also unlocked a bit more with the potential for tuning in the future. Now, whilst we've gained time in this episode, it's created another issue. Look at what the stiffer suspension is now doing to our bog standard tires. So next time, we're going to be trying out some grippier tires on track to see if they can gain us some more time. If you want to see how this car compared to a supercar, click the last video, which is up there, and make sure you subscribe to miss the next one. To miss the next one. <laughs> <laughs> That's the outro. Yeah, That's the yeah. <laughs>